Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. It is a privilege today to be joined on the summit by the new head coach at Flag Football at Bethel College, Angela Rowe. And coach, you're not only the, the new head coach, you are the inaugural head coach uh, <laughs> of the new program, the Flag Football program at Bethel College. First off, congratulations and, and talk about what that means to you to, to be the first person to take this position. Sure. Well, thank you. Um, it's it's a great privilege. It's it's truly an honor. And what what it means for me is it's an opportunity. Not everyone gets to start a program literally from the ground up. Everything, every nuance about the program will have my personal stamp of approval, um, and that means the world to me as it would any coach. Uh, I'm looking forward to recruiting. You know, I am still here currently in Atlanta, where flag football is really huge here in the southeast. And I want to talk about that too, because that that is something that uh, boy, you're, you're in the right place to recruit because it's it's an, an emerging sport. It's growing, but out here in the Midwest, it's it's still in its growing yeah. phases. And I know that uh, where you are uh, right now, there there are a number of of schools and clubs and and a lot to talk about there. You have a good coaching history behind you. I mean, this is not your your first rodeo by any stretch of the, <laughs> the imagination. Flag football, flex football, tackle football, you name it. Most recently, the defensive coordinator for the Atlanta Phoenix. Uh, talk yeah. about what you bring to the table then as a coach. Well, I bring several different philosophies I've been able to quilt together. You know, I've taken good things from all of my experiences and I've learned from, you know, the, the not so, you know, good things. Having coached for, I've coached approximately 18 years. And yes, I've coached all style, styles of flag football from five man to eight contact. We do have contact here in the Southeast uh, with the flag football and also the flex. I got to coach young men in flex football. And what that was, it was just a an introduction from flag into the full con, full contact concept. So getting into the nuances and the skill set and the fundamentals that they would need. So I bring all of those things with me to start the inaugural year to help the young women really learn the sport and develop and evolve in it. You know, the flex football, and that's, that's an interesting concept too. It's a nice bridge between those two sports and flag and tackle, but I think it's also something good as, as there, there's so much emphasis now on protecting you know, the, the body, the head in yeah. particular. And, and so there, there's a, a lot of ways for coaches to be able to use that, uh, you know, into the high school and, and college levels as well. When we talk about flag football now, and, and it's, it is, it's its own sport. It's, it's its it own is. deal. Obviously the, the flags instead of the tackle, but tell us a little bit about what the, the sport is about and maybe some differences that uh, a casual football fan might, might see when we watch a, a flag football game. Okay, sure. Well, what I'd like to say is they are similar, but not the same. Uh, there are some consistencies with obviously the football itself, but everything from the rules to the number of people allowed on the field. Here we have seven in full contact. It's 11. The field is width wise a bit shorter. It's at 40 yards instead of 53 and a third, which is in full contact. So there are those things that will take some getting used to, but honestly, it's, it's going to, it's just the, the game is just as fun. The game is actually faster, I think, with the the fewer people. Fewer people means more space to run. So it it tends to be more exciting. So I'm looking forward to it. With with fewer people, can that be a higher scoring game then with more space to run? Uh, it depends on the defense. So <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're speaking now with Coach Angela Rowe, who knows a little bit about defense, by the way, then. So I, I'm sure that that may be an emphasis for you, who is the inaugural head football, head flag football coach at Bethel. By the way, another football coach at Bethel. We had a chance to visit with Coach A.B. Stokes, who is the new <laughs> uh, football coach there as well. And so there's a, it's going to be a fun time in North Newton in the next couple of years, I believe. <laughs> coach, you're talking about being in Atlanta and, and recruiting down there. Not only how do you go about recruiting, which again you, you you're talking about uh, players then that that will be you know you're you're trying to get them out of the, the the southeast into the Midwest, but then they're a part of this program as well. Having a coach's stamp on it is one thing. Coming in and being a part of an inaugural team, uh, that's something as as well that that you get to pitch. Yes, and and that will be. As you said, it will be a, a pitch, but not necessarily so much so in that word. Is it's their opportunity to make history, 
Mm-hmm. You know, and that that's big for a lot of young ladies as the sports for women in general are beginning to rise and emerge. So a lot of our young ladies out here are looking for opportunities like that to be a part of something historic. Yeah, it really and it's and it's it's an emerging sport. Specific, specifically, I believe in the NAIA and and as as uh, the competition is there, but uh, there are so many schools that are bringing this in. Is, is it a sport then that a school can can bring in relatively easily then, or, or is are there challenges even to that? I think there's challenges to anything. It would be um, interest-based. It, there's a high interest here in the Southeast, but, you know, I'm taking it upon myself to not only start the program at Bethel, but also begin in the communities to bring awareness to the sport for mm-hmm. our high school athletes there. I know some of them may have heard some mum, you know, rumblings about the sport, or maybe even seen a little bit of it on, on TV or, or YouTube or any other social media. But now to actually see it live, physically, and have an opportunity to be introduced to it, I think is huge. Well, I have four daughters, so I, I always appreciate any opportunity <laughs> yes. for an, an, another another avenue like that, something new. And I think that's really cool, Coach. You were not only a, a coach over the, the a number of years; you were also a, an athlete as well. You played the game, a two sport athlete in college, basketball and track. So no no flag football in college there at Western Carolina. Although you did make your mark, I I, I know, but get to be a part of some some good teams, some championship teams as well. Uh, yes. Is that something nice to get to to bring to the table to say, look, I, I've done this. I've been here. I've done this. And and we can do it together. It, it absolutely is a, a, a nice tool in the belt. I don't like to necessarily tout what I have done uh, to the young ladies, because honestly, you know, that that's in the past. I'm bringing to them the means and the skills of how to do it themselves. Um, yes, my history and past will absolutely help because I have the knowledge, but it's not for me to sit there and say, well, I've done it this way before. I'm there to make them the best athletes they can be and hope that they can reach, you know, such a pinnacle. Well, coach, uh, uh, the season will not get it away this spring. You're still on the recruiting trail right now. You have That's time right. to, to build that up. Sorry. I looked over there. A, a, a wasp just flew past me. So <laughs> I may, I may be wrapping up the interview anyway. Uh, no, I, we were, we were winding down and uh, the, the, the season getting underway, not this year, but next year, 2023, gives you a little bit of time. As the Bethel fans are learning about this, and I'm sure they'll, they'll have an opportunity as you get out of the community, I think that's fantastic, a way to get out there and, and just face-to-face, visit with people, share what you have to offer. Absolutely. What should these fans expect then from a team that, that you're going to uh, be able to field? Well, the team will be fundamentally sound. I, I want to, to do a couple of things here uh, with my young ladies. Like I said, we will be involved with the community. I think it's an opportunity for them to develop in other aspects as far as players. I want to help them develop their leadership skills and many other things that help them when their years at Bethel are done. The team will be fundamentally sound. Uh, we all know in every sport, you know, there's concepts and concepts are really easy to grasp where teams ebb and flow will be in the execution. And for me, that's where fundamentals and skill set come in. So our team will be very strong in those aspects. I like the sound of that. I always, always appreciate fundamentally sound teams. So yes. <laughs> that's, that is fantastic. Coach Angela Rowe, thank you so much for taking time to visit with us today here on the Summit on Midwest Sports Net. And success to you. We will be following your program, and, and we look forward to getting to see how you all do at Bethel. Again, getting underway in the spring of 2023. So get your Bethel gear now so you that's can right. <laughs> go out and, 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 and support the Threshers. Thank you, Coach. Yes, thank you so much for your time.